whenever I'm at the racetrack, a lot of the times I'm recognized just as much for being a driver as I am being that guy they saw on TikTok. It's something that's really unique to me and I plan on utilizing that to grow my brand, to grow my fan base, and hopefully in turn bring those new fans into the sport. Hi, I'm Ryan Vargas and I'm a driver in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. I'm originally from La Mirada, California, but on my dad's side of the family, they're originally from Mexico. My great-grandmother immigrated here. Through that, we've been able to really grow the Manriquez slash Vargas family. I'm very fortunate to come from that background, to have such a involved family. And every time we race at Phoenix or Fontana or Vegas, there's always a very large, I guess you could say, fan club at those races. So I got started in racing because my dad was a big racing fan himself. From the very start, I was in love. And when I found out that kids could race, you know, in the Bandolero cars, I knew it was something that I wanted to do. And I knew that if I was gonna do anything competitively, I wanted it to be behind the wheel of a race car. Every day that I'm in racing feels like a dream come true. I never thought I'd make it this far. My mom is a first grade teacher. My dad is a construction worker. We come from such a unique and different background compared to many NASCAR drivers that, you know, the likelihood of me making it this far was very low. In 2017, my parents sat me down and told me that I, we were done racing because we just simply couldn't afford it. The NASCAR Drive for Diversity program, it provided me a platform and it provided me an opportunity to go out and showcase what I can do behind the wheel, as well as how I can continue growing, not just as an athlete, but as a business person. Is Ryan gonna let you sit in there? I'm gonna pick you up and you're gonna sit in there, okay? Oh, so cool. Social media has been a big aspect of not just my racing career, but also how I do business. It's allowed me to kind of open new doors with new partners, provide value to my partners, and really just find new fans to show off NASCAR to different markets, to different demographics. You look at my TikTok following with over 520,000 followers, which I can't even fathom, but you gotta think, there's a good chunk of those people that follow that may not be from this country that may not know much about NASCAR or auto racing. So if I can be someone who at least shows them, hey, there's someone who comes from a different background and hopefully I'm doing the best part that I can to bring in new fans. I like showing people that, hey, I'm just a fan that just happens to drive race cars. Behind the scenes, I wear a lot of hats. I do my own marketing. I do my own social media running. I sell sponsorship. I help work on the car where I can. Uh, and on top of that, I also have to prep for races, uh, continue working out, maintaining a diet. It's helped me grow as an individual by wearing so many hats so that hopefully down the line when, where I don't have to do all of that stuff, it makes me respect it more. So this is my latest helmet. It has a Sugar Skull design, kind of to honor my heritage and Dia de los Muertos. On the sides, you see the little lightning bolt down the side, and that's to represent the scars that go down the side of my head. When I was born, I was born with craniosynostosis. And essentially, it is a craniofacial difference which affects uh, the sutures in your skull. Basically, if you were to shave my head, you would see it would almost be flat or kind of divoted in. Fortunately, I had surgery when I was 11 months old. My goal with working with FACES, the National Craniofacial Association, you know, being a board member for them, I just want to show people that it's possible. To my recollection, I am the only athlete with craniosynostosis. So the likelihood of me making it to this level, to the second highest echelon of stock car racing in North America, it was very slim. So every day I look in the mirror and I see my scar, it's a reminder that I can do it. The fact that I've been able to meet so many incredible people who have pushed me to be a better person and to be better behind the wheel and to work with so many amazing people, I'm just very, very fortunate to be here.